Almost a year ago, I started development on what I thought would be a game that would take off. I tried to implement everything I could that would cause this game to get popular. It had its own mechanics, puzzles, atmosphere, and story. And I also followed the mascot horror trope to get the max amount of views possible. In the game, you play as a videographer who's documenting a mysteriously abandoned power plant. You collect a puzzle device called the Shine Beam, which can move lights around and power stuff. Seems like a cool concept, right? So in October, I finally released it on Steam. I sent it out to small YouTubers to play and made trailers for it. At the time, I thought for sure this game would get as popular as Garten of Ban Ban at least. Well, it didn't. Weeks went by and it didn't get the attention I thought it would. However, some of the YouTubers I sent it to did play through it. Some of them liked it, but some didn't. What can I say, man? This has just been amazing. The music has been so beautiful. It's pretty long, you know what I'm saying? But it's not good. Well done, guys. You two are amazing. Thank you so much. The game's annoying me too much. <laughs> but yeah, I guess. Yeah, other than that, I don't know. Like, most levels were just like a walking simulator, really. I really enjoyed the mechanics of the camera, absorbing light sources and putting them out wherever you want. The post anchors were a great feature. It was so great. But other than the people I sent it to, no one else really played it. So where did I go wrong? Well, looking back on it, this game was never going to work for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I named it Basics and in Intermediate Filmmaking. I'm still not sure why I did this. It's a mouthful to say and it isn't catchy at all. But if you look it up, you'll only get results of my game, so that's a plus. Secondly, I rushed it. I released it way earlier than I should have and didn't playtest it enough, which left the players confused at times. One thing I did well though was market it on TikTok, which got a couple hundred thousand views, which is pretty cool. But of all the mistakes I've made, there's one thing I did absolutely right that redeemed this game. A few weeks after I released Basics and Intermediate Filmmaking, I made a video on it that just explained how I made it and the process behind it. I wasn't expecting much with this video, but within a few weeks, it got over 100,000 views. I was blown away by this, but why did this video do so well? The one key factor is that I used mascot horror in the title and the tags of the video. Mascot horror was like the magic word for this video's success. There wasn't a lot of other I made a mascot horror game videos on YouTube, so when I combined the mascot horror trend with game development into a video, it got attention. But even after the video was uploaded, nothing really happened with the game. I got more Steam sales, but nothing really different happened than before. The main reason that it didn't do well is because I tried to juggle between chasing the mascot horror trend and making a game that I think is good. This does not work. This isn't important just for my game, but for every mascot horror game. So many developers want to hop on the trend of mascot horror just because it will get their game views. This ends up with the plethora of copycats, with no one wanting to be original because it won't get popular. So if you're a game developer watching this, just make Make what you want. However, even with everything that went wrong with it, I do not consider this game a failure whatsoever. One thing I didn't mention is that I barely knew Unreal Engine before this, and the reason that this took a year to make is because I was learning how to use Unreal Engine as I was making it. Right now, I have exponentially more knowledge about game design than I did beforehand, so in no way was basics and intermediate filmmaking all for nothing. The most important mistake I made was trying to get people to see this game rather than making it good. I think Pirate Software puts it perfectly. And to be real with you, don't worry about people seeing your games. Worry about making cooler and cooler games. Focus on that. Because if you worry about people seeing your games and the number doesn't go up for you, you're going to burn yourself out thinking that your game needs to do well and that you're failing. And you're not. Learning new shit is not failing. Becoming better at making games is not failing. Sitting in a room feeling bad because you didn't get enough people looking at your game and then you don't make another game, that's how you fail. So don't do that. Just keep making stuff. Don't worry about it. So after the mascot horror video took off, I made a couple other videos after it. None of them did as well, only a few reaching over 2,000 views. But my game dev partner, Goose Studios, also made a mascot horror game called Minced. Minced takes place in an abandoned meat processing factory where a giant meat man named Chuck Steak chases you. He made this in 24 hours and I actually went over to his house to help him with blueprints. After he released Minced, Goose made a video on it. This video also got over 100,000 views in the first week because we both knew that the mascot horror trend was the one to get views. And while his video did about as good as mine, the game itself did much better than basics and intermediate filmmaking. Much more people played it, including Cub Scouts. First game of today's episode is called Minced, and the cool thing about this game is that it was made in 24 hours. It's about minced meat, and it's one giant meat monster coming after you. Like, I'm about to beat this meat right now. Let's check it out. Oh my! Okay, okay, okay. He heard me, he heard me. Thanks for playing. This game was made in 24 hours.
Subscribe to Goose Studios. 5K subs, and I will make Chapter 2. Run those subs up, everybody. I need to see Chapter 2. So how did Minst, a game made in 24 hours, do better than the one that took a year to make? A couple of reasons. For one, the name is just much better. It's short and sweet, not 10 syllables like basics and intermediate filmmaking. Secondly, Goose Studios is a lot better at making videos than I am. He has more experience, and his video is better paced and edited than mine. But the most important reason why Minst did so well is because it stayed in its lane. Goose Studios didn't go into it wanting to make a perfect game. He was just trying to garner attention for it, which is not a bad thing. His goal was just to appeal to the mascot horror trend, unlike basics and intermediate filmmaking, which juggled between the trend and popularity of the game and the passion behind it, which taken together were detrimental to it. So even though Minst is a shorter and less thorough game, Goose was smart when making it, and so it amassed in more popularity. Goose Studios also promised to make a chapter 2 of Minst if he got over 5,000 subscribers, which he did. So after the success of Minst, he started making chapter 2, where he added a new mascot and new levels. I also helped him work on this game with different blueprints and stuff. Now, after releasing this game, nothing happened to it. It didn't get popular like the first chapter. So why is this? It followed the mascot horror trend perfectly. Well, the reason that it doesn't currently have the success of the first is simply because Goose hasn't made a video on it to expose it to the YouTube trend. So we'll have to see where it goes. But for now, people have played it and they're still hoping for chapter 3. I'm really enjoying this little mascot horror. They're fun little puzzles and honestly, it does jump scare me quite a bit. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Minch chapter 2, made by Goose Studios. This was nice. I, you can tell the budget's gone up quite a bit. So the question I have to ask myself now is, what do I do next? I'm not sure what I'll do in the long run. Me and Goose are working to figure out what we do next. But for now, I have this project that I'm working on currently called Tilt, where you have a gun that can change your gravity. Obviously, this is heavily inspired by Portal 2, but Portal is one of my favorite games ever, which is why I have a lot of passion for this. If this looks interesting to you, let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe. Anyways, that's pretty much my whole experience with mascot horror game development. It's a very weird game genre, and I don't plan on making any new ones soon, but I might. I can't deny that I get popular. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up with the good games that I'm making. And if you really want to support me, you can become a member of my Patreon. Patreon, where you'll be able to playtest my games and get access to exclusive content. But that's just a theory. A game theory.